Hey, this is Ken from the Maker's Box, and uh, you've gone and bought yourself a new Nerf blaster, and you've got it home, you put batteries in it, and it's just not performing the way that you kind of hoped in your dreams. And the reason for that is because you're using alkaline batteries, and uh, even the best alkalines can only deliver so much current, and uh, that's limiting the performance of your batteries, or uh, limiting the performance of your blaster. And so you look on the internet, and you'll find a lot of conflicting information about how to upgrade your Nerf. Confusing information, the first thing you're going to find out is about IMR batteries. And um, you're going to find a lot of people that say don't do it. Um, what I will tell you is that you can use two IMR batteries from a reliable source. These are from Out of Darts. And uh, with your stock wiring and your stock motors, um, these are rated at 6.5 amps. And with the stock system, the most you're going to draw is in the range of 5 amps. So you're perfectly fine. Um, you leave your fuses in, you'll be protected, and it will give you a marvelous increase in performance, surprising amount. However, to get any farther than that, you're also going to have to do more research on the internet and you're going to find a whole lot of conflicting information about upgrading your wiring and your switches. And uh, it just makes a, a big hurdle for beginners to um, open these up and rewire them. And so what I've done is I've designed a little kit. This incorporates a MOSFET switch. And what this allows you to do is route your power from your battery to your motor using a solid state switch. Um, which lets you upgrade the wiring. Um, you can get the current draw. Um, the beauty of the system is you can use your AA batteries. Um, it'll work with your IMRs. It'll also work with your lithium packs. And additionally, it'll work with when you start putting your aftermarket motors in, which gives you a, a, a magnitude of increase in current draw. Um, uh, the motors are primarily drawing, uh, driving the amount of current you're drawing, and aftermarket motors you are going from three and a half amps up to 30 amps, even all the way up to 60 amps, depending on the motors you're choosing. And a MOSFET switch is gonna allow you to handle that amount of current. Additionally, um, it's gonna let you upgrade your fuses as well. So the stock blaster has like a 1.6 amp fuse. Um, if you go in and you try and run three IMRs in your stock blaster, you're quickly gonna trip that fuse, which is gonna protect your system. Um, in the case of this MOSFET board, depending on your setup, what your battery is, and what your motors are, you can select a fuse that will correctly protect your system. And so you can protect it from, um, you know, if your standard two IMR setup, or if you're using LiPos and aftermarket motors, you can protect it for the high amperage setups as well. So hopefully, um, if this interests you, you can watch your videos on how easy it is to assemble this and wire into your blaster. Um, you can read a little bit more in my blog about the uh, work I've done on testing these, seeing what the current draws are and how the how these uh, type of fuses react under load and how they protect your blaster. So hopefully this is your gateway to modifying your blaster. Hopefully I made that a little bit easier for you. All right. Thanks for watching. This was Ken.